Alright, this is Alex. I'm back with a trio of extremely poorly treated American uh, wafer locks uh, with no shackles, as you can tell by the way they're mounted um, in the vice. They here. also have no lubrication so far, um, but you know, they're wafer locks, so they should hold up to, I don't know, arbitrary amounts of abuse and neglect and various other things that we may subject them to. I don't know about armor piercing rifle rounds, but wow, that's gummy inside. Feels like somebody poured some like old grease in there and then like baked it for a while. Getting absolutely nothing. In fact, it even almost feels like there's something. Now oh, there we go. It almost felt like there was something stuck in there, like a worm or something, but anyway. I'm getting a little rotation now. These usually pick pretty easily, but when they're this fucked up inside, who knows? I mean, there may be a reason why it's in was in that plastic bag with the others. It's the problem with shooting it like this is that I have to do all three of them in a reasonable period of time, so I can take more than one take, but I hope not. That would be right jolly embarrassing, wouldn't it? Boy, that's really, that is really unresponsive, so I'm going to give that a, a shot of some WD-40 lock restoring uh, formula. Um, move on to number two here, which did get a little, a little backwash there, but or uh, overspray that I think it'll survive, assuming it's still alive in the first place. Backwash, what the hell am I talking about? Well, this is amusing, isn't it? This must be great to watch. This was gonna be like, bang, bang, bang. Uh, this one is also going to get a little squirt of my special uh, WD-40 lock restoring compound. And um, because I'm a masochist, we'll go on to number three. Hoping that maybe he, I mean, he looks a little better. The plug is a little spongier. Oh, that, look at that. It actually springs back some of the time. Look at that. Um, so I buried some, um, this is a, a custom blend uh, lock restorative lubricant penetrating oil um, solvent. Um, Cologne for some people, I think. Um, I like the way it smells personally. Um, but uh, I'm going to see if these old wafer locks, which are, you know, people use wafer locks, I think partly because they're cheap to make, but they're also very reliable because um, their tolerances are such shit. I'm hoping that maybe it'll actually open now. I swear this feels like it has like gum in it or something. Like somebody put a big wad of chewing gum inside it. Just based on what's going on in here, I have a feeling the springs are completely shot. Possibly rusted out, who knows. That was the, you've been picking this lock for way too fucking long, timer. Let's try three again. Now he's nice and happy and wobbling around. In fact, it looks like his retaining pin may be, his retaining screw may be missing, which may mean that it comes flying out at me when I deftly open it up, which is unlikely to happen at this rate, but who knows. Now five minutes on three wafer locks and we've got nothing but grease on our hands. This is just, Awesome. I love this part of the movie. All right. Um, and uh, I'm presently wiping WD-40 off of them. This is the um, this is the special lock restoring um, variety of WD-40. Just you know, in case you're wondering. Wow. This guy is putting up a very Valiant fight to the death. Listen, Locke, 
If you don't open for me in the next like 30 seconds, I'm going to send you to Bill and he'll teach you a lesson. You hear me? So just open. Just need an open. You don't have to like it, it's alright. But you know what happens to locks that go to the lock lab? They often end up in little shards of metal on Bill's floor under his milling machine under his precision calibration instruments. You could be subject to a Brunel hardness test and I would not recommend that. I tried that thread against my ASA lock, but it just laughed at me. I have now been marinating, we'll say, in uh, WD-40 for uh, a little while now. I turned them even to make sure it got distributed evenly inside. Ooh, a big glob of black oily goo just jumped out of this one. I think it may be bleeding. Is that dinner? Mine's over there. So if this lock doesn't open soon, I'm gonna have to come back to it. Oh, there it is. There it is, picked open. Look at that. Can everybody see? That's lock number three. You don't have to go to the lock lab and be humiliated by Bill. Okay. So let's give this a go again with uh, number two. Um, I've already threatened them with sending them to the lock lab and that didn't seem to help. So. That's not the right pick. That felt like maybe something set. Yeah. There it is. Well, you saw it, hopefully, open. Let me get it back open. That was brilliant. Sure and drop the whole thing. At least I know it can open. That was awesome. Just like swung right back around. This mainspring is obviously still in good shape. That was just classic. There it goes. Okay, now hold that there. Okay, we got two of them now. Now for the middle one, which has been obviously the most obstinate of a lot. I'm gonna try one other thing. Not these jigglers. These useless clom jigglers. But who knows, they are designed for car locks, which are way for locks, and who knows, maybe, maybe they'll do something useful for me here. I may send them to Bill as well at this rate. Offset open half diamonds. Maybe this one. Okay, well, I conclude that these clum rake things are worthless, and so is this lock. But 
because I'm a stubborn motherfucker. I'll get it no more go. Maybe the WD-40 got distributed better in there. A couple of these are just dead. Dead to the world. So I'm going to say that one's a fail. So two out of three ain't bad. So <clears throat> two of three American locks opened up. The third one and the uh, trio of death and destruction. Um, well, maybe sending it off to Bill. Sorry, little guy.